bringing that same tenacity gameplay to the Phoenix Suns. Phoenix was 8-0 and in the bubble, and look who starts with a three, the guy who's been in a slump. Two of his last 13, Aaron Holiday from downtown. Jay Crowder with Miami was the best three-point shooter in the bubble, and there's a block to start the game. Good job. He recognized it quick. Miles Turner did. Last night, Phoenix had a 23-point first-half lead in Detroit, hit 12 of its first 17 from three as Turner hits a three. What he thought, but you can see a nice job there on the penetration by Brogdon because that's a tough cover because Miles, I mean, uh, Sabonis had it. And now Oladipo got a little shove, but it doesn't matter. He scores his first two. The Pacers have to get back, and they've got to stop the ball. Aaron Holiday fumbled it, but now the Pacers get a look top of the key. It's Oladipo. Ball movement. Love the ball movement. Ball to him, and that's what you do with a guy in your center. If he runs, gets in position. What they did was start to run him off that three-point line, uh, Phoenix off the three-point line. And they really struggled after that. And not struggling and getting to the rim. He's got seven straight Oladipo. Then you find a way to get him back into the game. Step back three, Oladipo. Rebounded by Turner, who lays it in. Nice job. He was able to discard Booker out of the way. Wiley veteran. And much credit needs to be given to Chris Paul as head of the, the players union for a lot of the things that occurred positively for this season to, to occur. Pacers got to cut him off. Phoenix 8 of 13, the Pacers 7 of 13. Fading oh, and sweet, scoring. Sweet Sabonis. Miles Turner, who's running, throwing the ball. Yeah, throwing the ball. He's He worked hard. This is the, the, the kind of intelligence you need to have on all your players. And you're out of North Carolina. They average nearly 15 made threes per game. And Brogdon has his second field goal. Yeah, you can see when he turned that corner, it was going to be available. Got a little impatient here. I got a break. Got it to go because Miles Turner was on the inside and stay on balance. Right there, he took the hit, stayed on balance, got it off the glass easily as Booker picked up the foul. See what Phoenix did. They put uh, Chris Paul in. Justin Holiday from McDermott drains the three. Sprained his ankle last night, scored six points in Detroit. Brother to brother, and Justin adds two more. His teams, his guys guard you, and that's what Carter does. Sabonis got Aiton in the air and then just goes right by him on the baseline. You gotta get you gotta help him. Now McDermott. That's the way to help you. Bankers Life Fieldhouse, Doug McDermott, his first three, but the Sun season started. I would have not predicted that. No, I don't think many people would have. Many people didn't know how much he still had left in the tank. Tough shot over eight left-handed by Justin Holiday. Pacers have not forced a Phoenix turnover yet. This, all things considered, this is a pretty well-played game. I mean, if, if you, you there are a lot of points scored, so you wonder about the defense. But it hasn't been like the, everybody's turned it over. I mean, find a place to get open. You got size advantage. Phoenix last night hit 12 of their first 17 from three-point range. Now Edmund Dunk Sumner it. drives oh. and scores. Edmund says he didn't foul him. He's going he for He does it. a good job of getting to the basket there, but Holiday cut. Part of that Miami team that went to the finals last year against the Lakers. Really good Holiday. pass. Really good pass by Victor Oladipo. Oldsville and Fort Wayne will participate. Here's Oladipo Ooh. for three. Short rebound out to Brogdon for three. Needed to, need to see something go in here. East now they spin it out to Bridges. Blocked by blocked. Turner. Yes, sir. Bridges, these fouls, when, when, when guys are effectively out of the position where you, you basically to stop a fast break situation, to tip that to Oladipo. I, by the way, I agree with Eddie, who happens to be a Chicago guy. Bonus played him just like he should. Body. Aiton, because he doesn't like contact. Oladipo gets inside again and scores back-to-back -back baskets. A wave from Aiton, and this is the other side earlier. Got that to go with a step. You get blocked out in, in a heartbeat. Like three minutes of the third quarter, Sabonis spins. 
Aiton is there, and Sabonis got the roll. Nice job getting to that left hand. Goes to the rim. On the offensive end, nice job. Get inside. Use that big body to keep the ball away from Aiton to get the bucket. Seven-point Phoenix advantage, 68-61. Turner trying to get into it and does with a three. But Oladipo is in double figures once again eight times now. He lost the handle on it. He was right at the rim and passed it out. Good smart play. Because the team is, is spotty shooting. A zone will really throw the rhythm off. What a good pass by Miles Turner. Showing some signs of growth there. He read the play before he had the ball, made it. Rebounds, but he, here's a, just a nice job by Turner. Oladipo gets inside, and it is rebounded by Sabonis. Counted a foul. A chance for a three-point play. Who follows again the shot blocker, in that case, Aiden. Back to five at 76-71. Oladipo. Two. Ooh! No center in the middle. Vic, fill it up. And see, can you explode? He's able to, Victor's able to explode there. You see Bridges. Get there too late. Good to see Oladipo finish that strong. Number four soaring. Again, they've taken Aiden out of the game. Now Sabonis puts it in and a foul. Carter commits the foul. And Turner with the offensive rebound. Take it to score it. Yep. So they've got that small lineup. That's why Monty Williams is calling timeout. Because they didn't block out, Pacers took advantage of it. Now the first minutes here in the third quarter, it's something to watch again. A big quarter by Sabonis. 12 of 32 from behind the arc. They're 4 of 10 in the third. Good read. Really good read. They've gone to a 2-3 zone. What a catch and what a pass. Those are your two big guys. Put, you know, he put Miles back in there, so they're bigger. The Pacers are bigger on the inside. Matter of fact, DeAndre Ayton is getting up, Chris, because they have to figure out how to deal with that. Sabonis and Turner, they've played the entire quarter. And McDermott with a left hand down the lane. Four-point Phoenix lead. And that's blocked by Turner. McDermott for three. Yeah. Javon Carter is a guy about pressure. And you can see they're out trying to apply more pressure here. Ball handling versatility by Justin Holiday gets a layup. The two Holidays, Turner, McDermott, and Jakar Sampson, the five on the floor for the Pacers. And that crawls in for Turner. Great catch because the pass was hot. Sumner back in. We saw him in the first half. He scored. Attack it. There you go. That's how you attack it. Nobody can block it. You're athletic enough. But Sumner comes in the game and really attacks. Sarge is not going to block your shot. You can see Langston Galloway come, maybe have some contact. Johnson knocked away. That was Stanley. Actually, that was Sumner who knocked it away. Turn around. And Sabonis lays it in. Got his NBA coaching career started in Phoenix. And a step back three by Oladipo. Brogdon drives on Bridges and with a left hand got it to roll in. They've got a guy that's won many games and handled it pretty well. Great effort there by Victor Oladipo to steal it from Chris Paul. Really good game tonight. Two really good teams as Brogdon hits the three. He's played much better in the fourth quarter. Brogdon again. As much as anybody, I mean, and we highlighted Bridge, Bridges at the beginning of the show. He and Justin Holiday, and Bridges was just a beast.